Howdies and salutations, y'all. Sorry. I'm gonna be real honest at the start of the stream, and hopefully it won't affect the energy that we're gonna be keeping up, but mentally I am not 100% there as far as, um, in-stream mindset. I, I mean, I'm definitely still, you know, mentally present and all that jazz. I haven't tuned out of existence or whatever. Um, but I am definitely not in, like, a streamy mindset right now, so you may have to bear with me as I get my footing, but I'm sure we'll get there. Building up momentum on stream is, uh, honestly not that bad, and I found that streaming... Even on, like, well, I mean, on the roughest of days, it rarely leaves me worse than when it started. Um, and usually it perks me up a bit, so... We'll just have to take a little time and get situated in there. But yeah, no, this this one's on me as well. Whew. I, um, I got into the YouTube again. And by that I mean, I usually try not to watch YouTube videos anymore. Because I realized that they put me in, like, a bit of a stupor afterwards. <laughs> like, you, one video is fine, but it's never one video. Um, and then, like, my mind just shifts into, like, receiving-only mode. <laughs> Where it's just, like, acquire sound and noise and pretty lights and such. Um, and because of the way ed videos are edited and the faster pace and all of that, I just... I, for the life of me, I can't snap out of it very easily. <laughs> Like, other media doesn't do it to me. Like, YouTube live streams, sure. Twitch streams don't. By which I mean both of those don't. Um, TV shows don't do it the same way. Like, nothing... Um, things like shorts and memes do it much worse. Um, a lot of it has to do with the speed and the lack of pauses between important or interesting moments. It's just constantly on. Constantly uptime all the time. <laughs> constantly poised for the next thing. And, like... I don't know, it takes me a while to snap out of it. It's bad, like, I can't watch videos on lunch breaks at work because I know that, like, the next hour I'm going to be vaguely... Like, it's not even like my mind is consciously on the video. It's just not consciously on anything. I'm going to be kind of zoned out and not working super, like, efficiently. I know, like, I can't do it when I want to rest. It, I'm, actually, I can fall asleep after YouTube fairly easily, but I don't sleep well. Um, like, I don't know. It just it messes with my head something awful. Um... So yeah, like, even now I can tell that you're probably going to see me leave off a lot of sentences just like that, where it's like, yeah, uh, ba -da -ba -da, something like that. Y'all probably heard it before if you've been on one of them sleepy streams. Half the time it's, well, half the time it is that I didn't get enough sleep, but the other half um, is probably because I was watching YouTube or memes or something right before it, and my brain is just, like, not turned on anymore. Or at least not tuned to the right channel. We're getting a lot of static coming in on this radio. So, yeah, just just give me a hot minute. We'll sort of warm up. The additional complication here, of course, is that once again, other than, you know, some hand tweaks and maybe, you know, maybe jumping into some, some of the values a little bit, starting to get shapes and such in there. May have to re even reopen Melania just to sort of revisit how we were doing that one. May go ahead and pop that open now. Oh, I'm going to have to actually open it proper, like... Welcome to my art folder. I'm sure some of y'all have seen it plenty of times before. We've got a lot of nonsense in here. And some good stuff. And Sword Timber last year, which is creeping up on us darn fast. We'll see how it goes. I've got different techniques. I'm probably faster than I used to be, but I also... Um... I don't know. I try to do more complexity, so it may cancel itself out or even be net worse. Uh, we'll find out. We will find out. Okay, Melania. This is probably the best thing I've ever drawn. I mean, sure, it was directly from an image reference, but it's not like it was traced. We actually figured out the proportions, figured out the lines, defined all the edges, all of that. It was just a screenshot from the intro cinematic. Um, and, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Sure, I feel like there's a lot more in hindsight that I could do better, but it's when I first kind of figured out the value shade like highlight connection at all even if I didn't understand how it worked or how to like do it intentionally in any way that would that would only happen months later um oh sorry if y'all hear the mouse clicking oh jeepers I always hopefully it's not too bad I uh, will be shifting away from the mouse and to the trackpad soon enough so y'all won't have to hear that hopefully um in fact, we can go ahead and do that now Putting mouse away. Sorry for any noise on the mic. 
little bit of thumpy thumpy and then hopefully that'll be good yeah hopefully that'll be good from now on if y'all get like weird background noise give me a shout too um i don't think it should be picking up my computer mic or my wow my computer mic yeah it shouldn't pick itself up that would be a bad mic uh, this one seems better than that but it also shouldn't pick up my uh, fans hopefully but yeah okay we'll go to this yeah. yeah 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 so that that should be much better for that let's take a look at this without the hue and saturation when we just have the values now you might notice this is actually somewhat a coherent piece because we only have five values in the whole darn thing we almost did six we decided away from it um You can see it's a little out of alignment now. Oof, pardon. But we were going to mute, like, the sharpness down here a little bit with that sixth one. We ended up not doing it. And I think it still works out because these are all still in the darker section. Like, the contrast isn't too high to grab the eye. The contrast between the light and the dark is still much sharper. And that's what we were focusing on anyway, so it worked out well. You can also see, like we talked about last time, the hair ended up not being super defined by the original line work. Does this even have the original line work on it, or did we, like, end up skipping away from that? We... There's so many different iterations of this one, I don't even know where we landed on some of this stuff. But you can see that would have muted it, like, considerably more even, but it also would have ultimately made the lower part look a little flat, especially with the offset causing, like, a paper shadow effect. Which I kind of like, it adds depth, but it adds, like, 2D depth, like, layers of paper uh, cut out, as opposed to, like, more 3D roundness or con continuous forms. Where is the sketch in this? I know... Oh, yeah, inks. Okay, probably not that one. <laughs> Fine detail outline. There we go. Yeah. So you can see, there's really, like, a couple reasons we ended up not including this in the finale, or the final version. Uh, part of it was the hair. It ended up not lining up, because we just... Yeah, we followed it a little bit, but mostly we went preform. Uh, part of it was that this part, like, the lines were too light compared to shaded areas, and so it added, like, weird highlights where they shouldn't be. Even then, I don't necessarily think that it looks bad with the line work, truthfully. Just that it looks a little better without it. <sighs> but the value part was really where we got into adding texture, and that's something that I'm going to want to be a little mindful of as we get into Mikola. Because, truth be told, like, this line work is more detailed than the Mikola one, but not massively so. Um, the place where this really came into its own, and it could only do that because we had the reference, to be fair, uh, was with all of the shadows and values and everything. So we'll want to think about that because the metal actually looks metallic and dented, no less, and properly reflective. Um, the skin tones aren't the strongest, but even then, they're still warm colors, better than we usually managed in those days. The fluff, obviously through many iterations eventually got there fabric folds this may be a little too reflective but it's not bad um yeah so even this little like belt strap here has got the nice highlight on the edge man i put a lot of time into this and actually like i'm still happy with how this one turned out i'm glad that we're moving on to more stuff that i can do fully on my own just to be able to say i've done that but oh yeah and then we but i went through so many like experimental and iterative stages with this um, this was with a warmer highlight. Once again, I didn't fully understand all of the stuff going on with it, so this was just me messing around, testing things. Pretty interesting results. This was me understanding the counter-shadow contrast thing existed, but not at all how it worked. Even so, it's kind of striking in its own way. And with more context, I think it'd be interesting. Perhaps with a darker background. Even so, not not what we ended up settling on for the final piece, and that's A-OK. -okay. Ah, let's see. Yeah, you can see some of the fuzz attempts. To me, this is what, like, the look is. You know when you see those 3D games where they've got a 2D grass texture and then just, like, a few random, like, fl like flapping bits of grass around? But you can still see the 2D texture underneath it? It looks bad, like, almost always. I get that it was high-end at some point, but it really never looked good, even when I was a kid, like, and that stuff was new. I was like, this looks worse than if they didn't do it. Um, like, a good flat texture looked better than, like, the weird waving small grass shards. 
And yet still it's a problem, and not just in like bad games or anything, like even stinking like the Souls games do it to an extent. Obviously Pokemon Scarlet does it atrociously badly, um, but that's my opinion. Oh, oh yeah, cool, we can leave just the fuzz with all of its colors. Interestingly, because we did the values, the, this fuzz is still picking up the colors and highlights. It, I mean, it had some depth to it, but we're still still getting some of that. That's interesting. We'll put those away. We'll bring the... not the rough outlines. Oh yes, that. <laughs> Best ingredient tools. So many things. There we go. We brought the value back and everything back, back with it. So I'm, I'm just going to try to keep that one in the back of my mind as we go forward. But, um, but yeah. So we've got levels of detail here, areas of focus and interest, but we're really going to have to pay attention to the texture once we get into the values. And that's going to be tricky. For a lot of reasons. But before we get into that, and truthfully most of that won't be until... October. Deepers, we may not finish this before the year's out. I hope we do. I'd really like to. <laughs> Man, in hindsight, Melania only taking a month really um <laughs> was impressive compared to this. That's okay, though. Because we have so much to work with now. Um, that said, I do want to do some final hand tweaks, I say, knowing full well that the word final is meaningless in the context of this piece. Um, it looks too much like Mikola is, like, gingerly pinching this. Like, holding it between thumb and forefinger. Not when you're zoomed in, but when you're zoomed out, you're like, oh, why are he pinching it like that? And it looks bad, because that's not the right grip to hold this. Um, it's part of why the thumb size looked wrong, I think, and a few other things. And I'm gonna try to be quick about this, because... Let's see. Okay, so that's the other hand, isn't it? That should be full opacity at this point. That's this one. Now, I don't want to ruin this one, because again, it's still an improvement over past works. I want to have it as a fallback. So we'll just work around it. Um, because destructive art processes are generally a mistake when it comes to something like this. Destructive meaning that you'd have to use undo to get it back like and if you don't like if you save wrong or if you lose it out of the undo buffer it's just gone or if you do other things afterwards and you don't want to undo those it's just gone like uh it's 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 easy habits because the lazy processes are destructive most physical work is inherently so but digital one of the advantages is it doesn't have to be and so we should actually stinking take advantage of that But yeah, I, I, I was testing out a grip holding a sword and such earlier, and it's just, there's no way that you would have so ginger of a hold on this. Like, I don't even hate this pointer finger. It might be okay in its own right, but the other thumb's gotta go. And the pointer finger feels slightly too big in comparison. And still, you know, slightly angled wrong. Of course, that makes it look a little long and gangly. Wrong hand. Oh yeah, having a line there might help. So that the thumbs aren't just disappearing into the void. There we go. More importantly than anything else, though, this helps take a little bit of attention away from the shape of the hand, because the, the hand pose was too much detail in a concerted space, uh, taking away... Yes, we want to we want to catch the eye on the hand. We want the viewer to notice who's wielding the darn weapon. But we don't want it to be more prominent than, like, the other hand, which is admittedly less detailed. Um, somewhat inevitably so, given distance, but even, even so. Um... And of course, the uh, Chotel itself. Give me a second. 
gotta hydrate. Don't know why I have been stinking dry as a bone lately. Maybe it's all the air conditioning that we're having to do to not die of heat exhaustion from merely existing here. Uh, to build a city anywhere here, in hindsight. Something of an act of hubris. But we're in Texas, so that, um, that tracks. <laughs> hubris is our middle name. Texas, hubris... I don't know, Austin or Houston or whichever the famous Texas folk Alamo. Texas hubris Alamo. That'd be, yeah. After Duncan Idaho, your next favorite character is going to be <laughs> Texas hubris Alamo. Oh, no. Okay. Fine. We'll, we'll go back to having the joint a little higher up, but I'm going to curl it in more. We're not going to have the fingertip. Out of curiosity, where was the original hands joint? Kind of not in the wrong place. Okay. But I'm going to trace back along it a little more. Still making it a hair smaller, of course. Because I, I liked the slight knuckle gangle. That's definitely not a word, but I don't know. If something can be gangly, surely it can have gangle. Like, what else would that mean, right? Have gangle will travel. Okay. Anyway. I guess that's on just the normal sketch layer. This little extra. Yep. Okay. Hmm. We'll call this old. Okay, sketch dash our hands, sure. Dunk this up with the old stuff. Create folder and insert layer. I'm gonna be nice and call this iterations instead of just straight up old. Um <laughs> but we all know what it is. V ones that weren't so great. There we go. That looks Less jarring. It looks a little more natural. Even if the pointer finger's got a little bit of weirdness to it. I need to maybe chill on the gangle. I say, threatening to make it even ganglier. Somebody needs to prevent this level of gangleness. Get gangled, nerd. Okay, sorry. You can tell, like, my mind is just straight up drifting there. I was, I was like, what's the next word that's gonna come out of my mouth? Oh, also something stupid? Awesome, go right ahead. Okay, let's narrow this one just a little bit. Make it match its cousins. Same with that one. Alright, that's still got a little gangle. Nothing atrocious, though. Yeah, I figured something bad like that would happen. Okay, give me just a half a second. Hide that. And I'm gonna use that vector tool to our advantage. Put the hand back. Cool, now we got the slightly softer point. We can add a little gangle there with the pinky. Nothing crazy, of course. There we go, keep it simple. Okay, that was dust on my screen that I just tried to erase. Nice. This is just... This one less dramatic, but I remember there was a time when I was in high school when I realized it was possible, just maybe, that I was playing too much Minecraft. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I love Minecraft, and really it doesn't feel like there's a, there was ever too much. I'm, my only regret is that I just can't get into it the way I used to. Not because it's changed, but because I have... Like, knowledge of deadlines and having to go to bed at a time puts a slight damper on massively overambitious projects like that. <laughs> Hopefully someday I'll learn to be irresponsible again. Um, perhaps responsibly irresponsible, but then again, maybe that wish is what's holding me back in the first place, is the responsibly part. We'll see. Being responsible certainly has its perks too, like being able to keep a steady-ish streaming schedule. Yay! <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, but to finish that story before I move on to the next thing. Um, yeah, I, um, I realized I was playing too much Minecraft when I unironically, I was, I was like a little late to class and it was on the other side of the building. And I, in my head, thought slash TP, like, English 301. And then, like, I didn't stop walking, but my brain just, like, stopped for a second and was like, that didn't work. Obviously that didn't work. What on earth? <laughs> but for a split second, my gut instinct was to teleport there. Um, because I knew the, the commands, and I was just like, oh no, I can't mix worlds. Hey, Pomato, how are you doing? What brings you this away? Okay, time to get a slightly cleaner silhouette going in here, and then we'll remember this piece. Oh, we'll hide this for now. Lay Senior. Maybe not. <laughs> Silhouette. It's a weirdly fun word to type, all things considered. Okay. So Silhouette will be a perfectly neutral gray. By the end, I want none of this gray on here. Yeah, how are you doing, Pomato? How you been? Oh, did you? Oh dear, well I hope it went well. The fact that you're talking on Twitch is a good sign of that. Ah, that brings back memories. Which hurricane is that? Have we got another one? Oh dear. Well, either hang in there or evacuate, depending on what the advice is. And, like, the actual advice, not the Waffle House Index. As hysterical as the existence of a Waffle House Index is. Oh, okay, yeah, Cat 3. Cat 3s usually don't make the international news, but that doesn't change the fact that they're still dangerous as all get out. Uh, so yeah, hang in there, hunker down. Um, or depending on where you are, get the heck out of Dodge. Um, I remember back in Katrina with, wow, dating myself a tiny bit with that. Crikey. Um, we, we actually had, like, refugees from Florida who came and stayed in our school for a while because they were caught in, like, the worst of it. So definitely, like, I mean, you're in Florida, you know. Like, treat them with respect. The hurricanes are dangerous critters. Same way we treat tornadoes with respect down here. And by that, I'm absolutely lying. Texans are frequently irresponsible about those. That said, like, we still do when it matters. We had one go straight through Dallas that, uh... Didn't have a single casualty as far as the news went. And uh, Houston, well, Houston has to deal with actual hurricanes. And, uh... Lots, I don't know, there's lots of different ones. Ah, uh, you're getting thunderstorms? Well, thunderstorms are, like, the fun part until it floods, but they're... Maybe it's just from being in Texas. I like a good thunderstorm. Ours are dark and ominous, but they also mean that we won't die of drought, so... Uh, a hearty yee-haw for me on that one. Yeah, Texas has too many different climates. We got, like, Tornado Alley, and we got Hurricane Zones, and Earthquake Areas, and the whole shebang. But, this is me being a typical Texan talking too much about Texas. I am sorry about that. Florida, on the other hand, y'all get the real, like, the nasty hurricanes. So do be careful. And hopefully it'll drop down to Tropical Storm. Yeah, Texas is a big place. I was going to say it's a fun place, but that really depends on where you are and um, what the government's decided it's doing on any given day. <laughs> We're an interesting state, that's for sure. Arizona, oh, it, wonderful. I've, I've heard wonderful things. I've also heard that it's, like, even worse heat weather than here, which is, I mean, it's a dry heat, but it's still brutal. I mean, a dry heat that can melt your trash can is still bad. Um, that said, you don't have to deal with daylight savings time if you move to the right places out there, which is real nice. 
Uh, they were just like, uh, nah, no thanks. We'll we'll skip that. Freaking awesome. Oh yeah. Well, I guess it depends a lot on where you're going in Nevada. Um. Like, uh, that's, there's a that that state's got a pretty different feel to it depending on where you go. Ah, the scary parts. Ah, well then have fun. Although, depending on who you ask, Vegas is the scariest thing in that state. <laughs> and frankly, that's probably true. Well, I guess it depends. If you can resist gambling, Vegas is a lovely, if slightly overcrowded, tourist trap. If you can't resist gambling, it will ruin your life. Definitely a bad retirement place for those with... Um, where they feel the money burns a hole in their pockets, because it will happily take all that money away from you. Tokyo? I mean, I haven't been personally, so I can only go off a of hearsay and, like, advice. Generally speaking, it sounds like it's very population-dense, so if you're crowd-averse, it might not be the best, but it also seems like it's a fairly pleasant if semi-strict city to live in if you want to go there as a tourist place it sounds absolutely lovely um, but yeah it depends a lot um, I'm sure seasons also matter to an extent over there like if you're like depending on when you're catching it it's gonna be a very different feel even a, even a big city like that still I'd love to get over there sometime Tokyo would be awesome like, uh, I really want to get to, like, Nara and some of the more classical historical sites. One of these days. Of course, I got friends who would probably be happy to spend an entire week in just Akihabara. So, you know, it's a balance. There's lots of awesome stuff. And that, that wouldn't be wrong, for the record. Like, that would be cool, too. Toyota. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they've, they've been around for a long time now. Long time. Okay, so we got ourselves a bit of a silhouette here. If we dump the sketch, oops. Make sure we get all those weird little loose ends. We dump the sketch. Got this lovely silhouette. Dramatic as I'll get out, hopefully. And now we've got this one. I can sort of overlay on it. I mean, that already looks like a stinking, fairly cool statue. Um, let's see. Yeah. Um, I may export that as a title card option, and then we'll move on from there. But yeah, I mean, besides Toyota, there's a ton of cool stuff out in Tokyo, um, in Japan. Statue, more like... I'm actually curious where you're going with that. Like what, perchance? I don't think I know what that is. Like, genuinely, sorry, I'm maybe just missing a pop culture reference. Ah, uh, behind the scenes, yay! Yeah, but sorry, Pomato, I don't, I don't I'm not familiar with that. Let's see. Got our light source. Oh, well, fair enough then. Perhaps we've invented something new. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I like this contrast guide a lot. But I don't want to rely on it too heavily, or have it, like, color my actual view here. 
more specifically, like, I want to rely on it heavily. I don't want it to skew what I think is actually happening. Like, if I, if I put a shade down, I'm like, oh, that looks good, and then I hide the contrast, and then it stops looking good, I'm like, oh. Sure, yeah, I can go say hi to Galactic. I mean, probably not after stream. You could always give a shout in the Discord. Um, I mean, not until after stream. Like, I can go visit afterwards. Um, but yeah, no, happy. I need to pop over there at some point anyway. It's been a little while. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> That's a... Uh... Oh no, it's an important part of the body to work. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Ah, psych. Important for all that talking. And also staying hydrated. Which I'm gonna do now, because otherwise I'll forget. <laughs> you psych the psych. Oh, okay. But, are you gonna psych the psych the psych? We'll find out. Let's see how far down the rabbit hole goes. Reminds me of the old show Psych, which was admittedly a uh, fairly fun show. Protagonist is a little generic at first, but he gets better. Uh, and it's got the general from Stargate in the pilot episode. Five foot tall rabbit hole? Possibly. Be a little underwhelming if you're hoping for Alice in Wonderland, but, um... <laughs> all in all, not a bad thing. Hold on. I'll have a dark background option. Sure, background, because I can totally type. Let's grab this darkest of colors to have proper dark. Even then, I don't think this is full black. No, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, hang, hang in there. The thunder itself won't actually hurt you. Feel free to jump on streams and try to get, like, soothing quiet music to help. Or, I mean, there's only so much I can do from over here in Texas, unfortunately, but, but I know the thunder ain't gonna get you any sooner than I would. And I'm not getting there anytime soon, because I don't actually know where you live. And even if I did, Florida is many hours away. <laughs> You'll be fine. That was like the most ominous reassurance I've ever given. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that was that was not great at all. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, no, just hang in there. Hmm. Perhaps if I had a supersonic jet... It would be five minutes away. Unfortunately, I am. Um, I don't have one of those. Best I can offer is, I don't know, normal plane tickets, which still means you have to get to the airport and go through security and like wait for the flight and all that jazz, which would be a lot of hours. Um, or I guess you could maybe hitch a train ride or take the car. Probably a couple days in car. Yeah, I'll just use slash TP. Oh, if only it worked. I wish. Hmm. How do I best translate from A to B? That was the wrong layer. Can we put this at, like, 1? Okay, that is technically visible while being very, very faint as a guide. That's true, yeah, if we could teleport, Warfare would be instantly disastrous. And someone would, like, manage to teleport something, like, into the world and break the physics for the collision, and it would be bad all around. Check us straight out of orbit. Amazing how many superpowers would actually be, like, massively destructive. <laughs> um... Uh, like, if actually used in real life. Like, it would be so bad so fast. Okay. 
before we go to 2%, let me look at it 100 and think through what we're actually going to be covering. Uh, yeah, nerd and proud. That's, um... Is nerd even really an insult anymore? <laughs> like, I feel like once the world shifted to be, like, entirely built on computers, that whole stereotype just kind of died. <laughs> Not that there aren't nerds, but, like, the meaning of the word is watered down very much since the 80s. Ah, the joys of them bills. Them bills, them high bills. Yeah. Stuff just costs money, I suppose. I suppose it doesn't technically have to, but then you get into some very complicated economic philosophies and social ideas, and it's probably not suitable for a Twitch stream discussion. <laughs> Uh, people get very, um, passionate about that topic, let's say. I, I would not recommend not paying your taxes. For two reasons, one of them being that the IRS will get mad and you might get fined or arrested, and that's not great. But the other is that, theoretically, you know, if no one pays their taxes, we don't get, like, roads and fire departments, and I kind of like roads and fire departments, I'm gonna be honest. There was a time. Oh yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. Yeah, you don't... You don't we don't need fire departments or, like, the, uh, Coast Guard or, like, rescue ships or any of that. That'll be fine. There was a time in history when we had private fire departments. Those were, um, those were bad. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. We do. You probably have quite a lot of rain at the moment. Around here, we don't get much rain, so we're very happy to have people who can come by and actually like put the darn fires out. Because otherwise, they'll just stinking spread over the plains. Sorry, I didn't mean like an excessive amount. I just meant like in general, Florida has like rainier weather than Texas does. My bad. Did not did not think about the current situation. That's on me. Sorry. Yeah, no, out here we're desperate for it. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, no, we, uh... I think we were in a drought for like 12 consecutive years, and we may be out of that one, but the situation's still not great. Um... Like, uh... There's entire cities out here that straight up have no, like, at least not nearly enough water to actually support the city at all. Be bad. You want to go to Japan because of the tsunamis? I feel like that's probably not the most people's reason to go. Not really, like, Japan doesn't generally treat those as a selling point for tourism. <laughs> they don't usually go super great. I mean, Japan handles them better than, like, places that don't have any prep for it, but it's still it's still dangerous. It's all get-out. I mean, I guess everywhere... Everywhere's gonna have some natural disasters. It's like, do you want earthquakes, or do you want fires, or do you want tornadoes, or do you want hurricanes? Or tsunamis? Or volcanoes? Or, of course, sonic statues. <laughs> I don't know about the Sonic statue out there, but it doesn't shock me at all that there is one. Okay, I'm gonna start putting in flats. I'm gonna use mid-tone colors. Where relevant. Whoops, that went too far. It's in the middle of the woods, that... How far did he run? <laughs> Is this like an official thing, or did someone just make this? Like, someone was just like, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a Sonic statue in my front lawn in the middle of the woods. Probably not a lawn, probably like, open, clear area of woods. Okay. General shape and color for that. Yeah, if you want to throw that either in here or in the Discord or wherever you like, like, by all means. 
Probably can't check it mid. Well, I can try to check it midstream. Okay. Start with the general color of things, and then we'll go from there. Or general value, I suppose. I'd update the line work to include a larger object here. We'll determine the final object later. Oh, did you try to throw the link in the in the uh, Twitch chat itself? I wonder if it like I don't know if Twitch like plays nice with those anymore. Ah, rats. Well, if you want to check it in the Discord, like, feel free to fire away. Um, usually where we post stuff like that anyway. And I just can't stay within the lines on my own darn drawing today. Yeah, and that one didn't even give me, like, a moderator option to, like, block or not. It just automatically was like, no. Oh, yeah, um, if you check the description, we should have, like, this Sifimir website linked in there. Like, just on the Find Me here. And it's got a link to the Discord and all the other, like, half dozen things I've got. I think there's a Pinterest and a Tumblr and a bunch of other stuff. Um, let's see. Other stuff, I think, will have a little more variance. We've really only got the three tones for the light. Age not found, really? That's not good. Okay, let me... I guess we're debugging today. Let me open my own Twitch channel and hope that we don't get crazy nightmare redundancy. We probably will for a second. Okay, it's still muted, it's still muted. Excellent! And if that link's broken, that's not great. Well, it's still working for me. Well, I can throw you the Discord link, at least. Well, okay, no, I just tried to open the... Mm. Weird. I don't know what the bug did. It was just being, like, funky and long-legged and jamming out. Um... I wonder if it'll let me post a link to the Discord here. Okay, apparently it lets me post links. There you go, if you want that. That's not the right screen. Cool. Link deleted. Oh, oh okay, okay. You got me good with that one, Pomato. <laughs> Let's see. I really did. You got me. I fell for that one. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay, I know you just typed that. Because that's not what it says. Uh <laughs> Solid effort, though. Fool me once. You know, fool me, fool me twice, though. That would be shame on me. So I'm going to have a go at avoiding that. Okay. In any case, oh, I guess I had to put another follower goal. We've already passed the last one. Holy cow, we passed the last one. Hmm. Got my stream schedule on there. Wait, don't delete the personality. No! <laughs> we need that! Okay. <laughs> 
That's important. Okay, let's see. Man, I... <laughs> I miss Art Fight. Like, the biggest reason I miss Art Fight is because, like, it's way harder to just peruse random streams now and find something that other people are doing. And likewise, it's, of course, harder for people to randomly peruse and find my stream. But I'm hoping that Sword Timber, I don't think it'll have the same draw, but it'll be interesting. Something, something to do. And then, of course, October carries its own risks. On the one hand, Inktober is, of course, the premier thing. It's Inktober. It's a classic. On the other hand, the dude who made Inktober has attempted to copyright everything made in the title of Inktober, and I don't think that's... A, that's, like, stupid uncool. And, um... B, it would, um... You know, it would undercut the stuff I drew and put it at legal risk, which would be bad. Oh, yeah, I think the links usually do just, like, pop you into the Discord. That's kind of how those work. I mean, you're welcome to leave afterwards if you don't want to stick around. Um, of course, there we go. Yeah, it looks... It, um, I... I would desperately ask you to not try. <laughs> we don't... This isn't the... This isn't the Doki Doki Literature Club, like, Discord. There's not... There's not a speedrun to get banned challenge. Uh, okay, give me a second. Now I'm gonna have to stinking watch the Discord. <laughs> okay. Nab. My laugh changes stinking all the time. It's super super fluid. And um like my current one sounds like my aunt. Nothing wrong with that, but it's just jarring when I hear it because it makes me think, wait, oh no. <laughs> Am not me. Someone managed to speedrun that Discord ban on PlayStation for the Doki Doki one? That would be ridiculous. Ay -ay -ay. Is there even Discord on PlayStation? But yeah, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, where are you even going to get the splits for that? Like, no... Nobody's gone and added them splits. Done, you say? Done, you say? Hmm, color me suspicious of that being done. We'll see, though. <laughs> I just saw your message. Oh, truthfully, truthfully hostile language indeed. We'll have to ban you post-haste. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Indeed. Most, most entertaining, most funny indeed. Okay, so we've got our lights and shadows here. But there's gonna be still tears in the shadows. Eventually of the kingdom. I think. Yeah, okay. Nickel is so monochrome, it's gonna make this challenging in its own way. But I think we're going to want the lighter of the dark tones for the clothes. And we may tweak this at some point. But we're basically just blocking this in, penciling stuff out. Seeing where we land. Oh yeah, that wouldn't have been fun. Although I guess also, fair warning on Discord servers, it's... Probably not, I mean, we're small enough that it's probably fine, but it's generally not a good idea on Twitch or Discord to, like, throw your birthday out there. Just because it's a common, like, account password thing, and so hackers try to use it. I ain't gonna do anything to it. 
you'll be fine from my account. But just, you know, fair game. Ah, ah, there we go. See, now now we know that the first date was a falsehood and thus your cover is maintained. We'll never know your true birthday. Brilliantly done. <laughs> October 78th, a noble day to be born. You share a birthday with, um... Let's see, what a, what imaginary figures are out there for you to share a birthday with? I'm sure a lot. Let's go with Pinkie Pie. That would make sense. Okay. So that's extremely stark contrast because we're just sort of blocking it in right now. Um, let's think. I hesitate to even, like, do this, like, soft block in because I worry it'll make me lazy when I'm doing textures, but... It'll be a starting point, at least, to pick up from. And maybe it'll be good. Whoop, don't want that. Oh. Yeah, that's, that is unfortunate. I'm sorry about that. Well, I hope you're able to celebrate it much better this year. That's good. That at least helps a bit. Let's see where this lands us. Yeah, I recommend not doing that in either the past, present, or future. The fan may seem to cheer you on, but they are deceitful. Do not stick fingers in fan. Okay, I mean, it still can hurt. It's less likely to harm you directly, but it's still not, like... All that fun, truth be told. I hope that it wasn't spinning at the time. Or if you're talking about a fan of heavy metal music, I hope you asked first and didn't annoy them by just poking them. <laughs> Maximum overdrive. You know, I would question a fan having that, but, like, I can totally believe a company would have an option called Maximum Overdrive on a fan just because. And it would be, like, slightly faster than normal. It wouldn't actually be all that impressive at all, but, you know. You know, like, whoever makes the fan. Like, whatever company sells fans, one of them would definitely have, like, a, Hey, let's put a maximum overdrive on this thing. I mean, companies are typically comprised of people. When those people act together, then, you know, sometimes it is referred to as the actions of the company. Or, ah, that sort. Ah, okay, so it was that kind that I mentioned earlier. Well, then how'd you put a person to maximum overdrive? People don't usually do that. I don't, I don't think I have a button that's just like, hey, maximum overdrive. Ah, yes, that's probably not recommended. <laughs> yeah, okay, definitely not recommended. Pro, pro life tip. Try to avoid killing people. 
Life hack. Don't commit murder. Death metal. A pun in its own right, I suppose. Yeah, definitely don't. Zero of ten, do not recommend. There's plenty of stuff worth sticking around for. Nope, no one less is there. And let's let's steer clear of joking about this too much, Pomato. I know some people like work through stuff using dark humor, and that's a okay. But like, this is still technically a public forum, and you got to be a little bit cautious about that. You never know what kind of day someone else listening has had. What? Nice. You got me again. Not consecutively, though, so I think we're still on Fool Me Once here. We'll see how long that lasts. Mm. Well, you got me way back when with the um, Discord server broken link joke. But then I cut on to a few other things, so, you know, I think we're balanced. Hmm. Oh no, you can't see my stream! Whatever shall we do right after we were just discussing pranks about these things? Yeah, no, you definitely didn't get me with that one, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> You'll have to try a little harder than that. What webcam? You think I own a webcam? <laughs> Your refrigerator's running. Oops, I actually don't have one. On top of what? My setup literally doesn't even have a built-in one. I straight up don't have a webcam. is not one of the options available to me at this time. Okay, let's... Maybe go back to a flat neutral for all of these, and then we can vary them out. Well, I have two cellular devices. I apologize to anyone who's actually British. That was a dreadful accent on my part. Properly awful. And why have you got two cellular devices, if you even do? That's a lot of... that's more than the average number of cellular devices. Oh jeepers, is it getting chilly over there? Uh-oh. Stay bundled up, stay dry. I mean, again. I'm sure, I'm sure there's nothing I can tell you you don't already know. Thirty degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit? That's stinking cold for Florida this time of year. Dang. Okay. Wow. And what I'd give for that? We're above thirty degrees Celsius, which push us squarely in the nineties out here. Ah, gotcha. Why is it thirty degrees inside?
That's not good. Hmm. Well, usually they handle temperature a little better than that, actually. They've got people on staff who can manage it. Wow, that'd be unusual to be in a nursing home. Which is typically for the elderly. At a time when your mother is still working there. Nursing homes aren't inherently unusual, but it's unusual to be there, like, simultaneously with your parent working. Yes, strange set of circumstances, though not unthinkable, surely. Just enough to make one question a little bit. What player is that on? Huh. And what is your question, Pomato? Iron can get diamonds, then how do lava be hot? Hmm. I mean, I definitely understand having some questions about the first one. Um, I think in real life the answer is because while diamonds are sturdy on certain axes, they're also very weak on other ones, and thus not actually that difficult to get out of the ground if you've got the right angle on them. Um, but why, what, my question is, what does that have to do with lava? Oh, no. Ah, oh, Amber Alerts. I, um... I never know what to do about those. Because, like, A, the ones I get are from cities that are, like, six hours away half the time. Um... Oh, that one's probably, um... That one might be weather-related, then. Um, I don't think they usually have levels for the missing person ones. Right, let's focus on one thing at a time here, because I'm getting a little carried away. Um, frankly, it might be better to leave everything neutral that hasn't been colored properly yet. I'll keep it obvious. Oh, I mean, you're definitely not seeing it at its best time. I'm sure it has better days than this. I know it certainly has a reputation online, but that's, like, only partially fairly earned, because Florida's the only state that publicizes most of this stuff. It, yeah, that... Yeah, I suppose y'all at least have the theme parks. That's a plus. Have you been to the, like, the Mickey Mouse parks? I mean, there's theme parks here, but there's not Disney ones. Like in uh, San Antonio, they got SeaWorld. That's a theme park. Why they've got SeaWorld in San Antonio, of all places, is utterly beyond me. That is not a coastal city. <laughs> Bush Gardens. I feel like I've heard of those, but I don't know anything about them. Yeah. I'm sure y'all run into the same issue in Florida that we do in Texas, where, like, just because something's in the state doesn't actually mean it's near you at all. Oh, 
You attacked a lion? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a smart thing to do. Why would you attack a lion? I mean, it was probably just lion there. Hey, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> Yeah, perhaps he was just making eye contact to say hello. I don't actually know how lions and eye contact work at all. Weezing. Maybe it was just trying to sing you music from its favorite band. Weezer. That was not a good pun. I feel like I should publicly apologize for that pun. I'm not going to, though. I knew that would happen. Cranking nineties in real life, mate. How are you gonna do that? I don't think anyone builds wood pallets that fast. <laughs> Honestly, if you could do that, then you would be very popular in like the world of construction. <laughs> very popular. Okay, let's see. We wanted to stay true to this lighting to some extent. I think means grabbing some of, the, like, not the super dark over here, mind, but a little bit of it. Catching it in here. Again, the resolution of the canvas is going to be coming back to fight us a little bit on this. Possibly in our favor in that we can't nitpick too much. But it's still going to be an issue. Better not be another chicken butt, mate. What is it? What you got for me, Pomato? I mean, good luck in that endeavor. I um, I haven't got the patience to try to do that. Hey, pretty impressive. I think. I'll be honest, I don't know very much about COD. The fish or the game. I mean, yeah, this is an art streaming channel, mate. What'd you expect? I mean, I have played games on here before, but it's been a hot minute. We did Stardew not that long ago. Yeah, but the bow has a pen in it. The thing I'm firing is a pen, not an arrow. It has been a while. I, you know, I actually at one point did actual archery. That was fun back in the day. Once again, I'm going to add the light source to this view as well, actually, just so I've got it. So... la ti -do, perhaps? Hang in there. Uh, 
Oh, okay, that's good, at least. Usually they're built to not do that. Like they're they're especially out there, they're you know designed to be sturdy. Just like around here, we may not earth proof earthquake proof things, but we definitely have tornado resistance built into our structures. Whereas in, like, Southern California, they definitely would not care about tornado resistance much, but they would care about earthquakes rather a lot. I'm sure Florida's got hurricane prep. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not like it's a magical enchantment or something like that, but, like, you can you can build in certain ways to try to help resist the types of forces that tornadoes exert on a house. It's not perfect. Like, if you get hit directly by the tornado, it's probably still not going to be great. But we've designed skyscrapers so that if the tornado hits them, it won't, like, knock the whole darn thing down. We put certain braces in our houses, according to our various construction codes, to, um, I don't know, try to prevent the worst. Well, it's just like in uh, California, you won't see so much, uh, like, I believe the issue over there oftentimes with, like, large brick structures, because they tend, like, the brick facades have a bad habit of breaking off of the building, so even if the building's, you know, hanging in there, um, like, the wall would fall off, and so they have to put special, you know, reinforcement and stuff either to support the facade up, or they use different types of materials so that that's not a risk in the first place. I mean, look, mate, you know that I can wander off forever. In conclusion, I'm sure Florida has building codes, too. Is this going to catch the light? Well, I'm glad you enjoyed my weird construction rants. <laughs> Say happy face robot? Okay, happy face robot. Yay. Yay. Happy face robot. Yeah, you did make me see Happy Face Robot. Oh no, not Anger Face. I mean, I've had people try to trick me into saying much worse than that on stream. The reason why I'm always cautious about reading stuff out blindly is you never know when it's going to be something crass and terrible. Hmm. There's a reason I usually do highlights and shadows on different layer layers. Oh, as opposed to crying? I mean, I can believe that. It's, it's a little bit vague. And it does look like stern eyebrows. And, like, the context people use that one in also sometimes can really be either. Uh, I've just realized I have fallen into the classic blunder. But one thing at a time.
values first. Because we can split it up a little bit. We've got Silhouette. I think that we're actually going to have to. Ah, I've tried my hand at fighting games before, and I truthfully just don't enjoy them very much. Like, it's not to say they're bad games. I just don't have, like, the kind of brain that can wrap my mind around the actions and reactions you need to actually be good at them. Because I am really bad at them. Like, here, for context, I've played Smash Bros. Brawl and played Meta Knight, which is the spam character, and still managed to, like, absolutely fail immediately. Um, yeah. It's, um, it's, I'm not good at them. <laughs> Spamming does not, not work for me in those. I did have luck when I found out, um, in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I think it was Shulk, who just has a big sword that he can just, like, slam dive down. I can spam that pretty well, but it still doesn't actually, like, win you rounds as soon as people figure out what you're doing. Okay. No, no, it's it's one of the ones that looks like another stinking Fire Emblem character, but I think he's actually from, um... Oh, what is the one? Xenoblade. I think he's from Xenoblade. I mean, presumably he has underwear, but I haven't seen it. Memory games can be fun, I do tend to enjoy those. They don't usually make for amazing stream content, though. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Wrong layer. Wow, that really is a really good grabbing tool. I mean, again, I play a lot of games in my free time, I just don't stream them. I play, I mean, even streaming, we've done, like, Stardew and Elden Ring and such before. Um, and of course, Baldur's Gate with Galactic. Now, if I hide this a lot later, and we just have this. Not the worst. Okay. I want Silhouette to actually be the darn Silhouette. I mean, look, I'm not I'm not a great gamer, but I don't mind losing on stream. I'm perfectly fine with that, too. I just, you know, I, I stream because I... My point in streaming is to do art and to spend time with people doing art. That's what I enjoy doing on stream. I tend to enjoy games more solo. Look, you've seen some of the art that I've done. Clearly, I'm not afraid to embarrass myself on stream. <laughs> I've done some truly terrible drawings over the years. Um. Oh, yeah, BRB. See you in a bit. I'm going to go do some layer fixing and try to set myself up for better next time.
There we go. Wow, that actually lined up pretty well. Okay, not that great, but good enough. Okay, so there's the sketch. And look at just the silhouette layer now. Make sure that it's proper. I'm not entirely sure the benefit of having it other than being able to color outside of some edges, but we'll get there. Thought I saw lines there still. Okay, now I'll do some more layer fixing while we've got the chance. There's silhouette. We've got just the show tell. Now I still need to split this, kind of. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> That's looking really dramatic as is though, holy cow. <laughs> Welcome back! Welcome back. Ah, I can just copy. Okay, that's what we'll do. Take our lovely little magic selecty tool. Get on the correct layer. And nab these. Oop! Being right back again and unbrb'd. Welcome back! From the first time, obviously, because you didn't actually leave the second time, did you? Ah, okay, so it's not going to... Yep, figured as much. Makes sense. That said, you did, you did get me with it for a moment there. Well, that's better than 30. Nah, not really better than 30. That's fair. Oh, you've got like blankets and such to wrap up in at least. I wish that I could. Unfortunately, uh, as we've established, I don't have the, the ability to slash TP anything. A right shame to that. Ah, yeah, the wire transfers are so slow these days. By the time it gets there, like, you you know, you wouldn't even need it anymore. I'll deal with that part separately. Little, little too ominously quiet. I mean, I can try to turn up the music, but I don't know that that'll help all that much. 
Um, to some extent, that's just from it being fairly late in the evening at this point, but also... Like, how... well... I don't know, I think cloud cover tends to mute sound a little bit. Not inherently bad, but like... You know, that, that, that could just be from a normal thunderstorm, to be fair. That doesn't mean anything bad's crazy happening, so I think you're, you'll be fine. Just hang in there and be careful. I mean, that's the only advice I can give. I mean, I'll help best as I can from out here. Hopefully having a calm stream to listen to for a little while will help with that a bit. I mean, you know, uh, where? I mean, I'll be here and you'll be there, but I can still say hello. I mean, the magic of the internet is that we can speak well in both places. So it would seem I can speak. I mean, I'm probably not a figment of your imagination. Well, that's true. That's true. I mean, in a way, I'm just words as well. You don't see me or anything. I'm just verbal words instead of typed ones. If you want to get all, like, philosophical about it, it's kind of neat that we can communicate using two different mediums. Certainly not a new concept, but it's neat. Not too keen on the site. Fair enough, then. Hmm. So, that layer. Now we got our highlights, our shadows, and our base. Copy, there we go. Yeah, I mean, that's getting pretty well into the evening at that point, ain't it? Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, it depends. Everyone's, everyone operates on a different time scale, to be fair. By the time 10.30 rolls around, I'm usually, like, trying to get, well, streams uploaded to, like, the VODs and such to the channel, but, um, beyond that, just to sleep. I frequently fail, but it's, you know, the goal. This is the way to structure it. Tennessee? There's some cool stuff in Tennessee. They got a model of the Parthenon out there that's uh, really something. Yeah, they do. They've got like a full-scale replica of the Parthenon made out of concrete. For reasons I don't fully understand. But nevertheless, despite me not understanding it, it remains there. Bizarre as ever. Oh, it's a classic ancient building um, from ancient Greece. It's probably when you think of a stereotypical like temple, like Greek temple type deal, it's probably what you're thinking of. Arthen. 
non. It's, uh... It's like this one. Although actually the one in Tennessee is literally this one. It's not broken. It's just a replica. That they built. Complete with a statue of Athena. Or, uh... I don't really know why. <laughs> but it's cool. There's the Greek one. Oh, you're on audio only? Yeah, um... Yeah, it's got, like, the classic white marble columns and then, like, a little triangle pediment on top. Okay, okay, fair enough. If it's a joke, then, uh, you can see it already. But if you want me to stinking describe Doric columns to you in uh, agonizing detail, you know, we can have a go at that. It's been a long time since I've had to describe column and pediment parts, though. I'm sure I'll forget some of it. Uh, good old dactyls. Fair enough, then, JK, it is. But yeah, no, if you want to go to Tennessee, you can find... this. I mean, I'm probably going to wrap in another 25 or so minutes like I usually do. Unfortunately, I've got work in the morning, so, uh... It kind of puts a harsh time limit on what I can do. But then we can see if there's someone else streaming and raid you over to them. Let's see... Probably not the stop sign one, that one's just weirdly ominous. Ah, uh, GDQ's going at the moment. We'll see if they're still going when we wrap. Oh, Snaps Cube is live. That's always an option. Including advertisements, unfortunately. Snaps Cube, they do... Uh, I'll admit they're not quite as family-friendly as my stream. Um, but, uh, but she's the one who's behind a lot of the famous Sonic the Hedgehog fan dubs. Um, for what that's worth. And she does a lot of fun stuff. Looks like she's playing Final Fantasy right now. And she's been going for two hours, so we'll see if she's still going by the time we, uh... Rap. Over there? Probably. I don't think she'd mind that at all. Ah, uh, we'd rather you didn't. <laughs> Over here we are still, you know, trying to be family friendly and fun for everyone. If I did, then I would be annoyed and have to delete your comment. Actually, it might auto-moderate it at this point. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Let me fix the handle. We're gonna have so many nested lights and shadows. Um, no, we'd rather- yeah, <laughs> please don't. We've already had people test it. With that and much worse words besides. That was we, we had a most unpleasant raid there at one point. Bunch of clowns. Trying to get people to drop slurs by posting dubiously spelled jokes. It was a problem. Oh, you're cutting it close there. <laughs> Somebody's feeling like being a risk taker. <laughs> In the most mundane possible way. Okay, maybe we just do a fresh layer on this one. Try to match it to the old one.
I see what you're doing. You're going to be talking about things like uh, shorts, and definitely not actual words. Um, shorts and shirts all day. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here, too. Yep, only one S. It's just a perfectly normal, normal, safe English word. Nothing to be concerned about, right? <laughs> Maybe. Apple. Banana. Oh no! What whilst we do? Just a little bit cool. Not too much. Definitely no discussion of dogs here. Well, I can totally see this art piece ending up with uh, a stupid number of layers by the end if I'm not careful. That's kind of okay, though. Um, I honestly don't know which store you mean. Depends on how bad the word is, I suppose. You can have a go at it. We'll see if Twitch gets mad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Challenge with that one is that it's also just like a normal word. That, that, there's people where that's a name they willingly go by. Not so much these days, but it was a thing for a while. In heck, it's a Batman buddy. Yeah, well, I mean, you know. We can also say the name of giant structures that block rivers and it's not the end of the world. The context matters a lot more than the actual, like, word itself. Saying a perfectly normal word and meaning it as an insult and saying it with, like, a tone of voice that implies it's an insult it's probably worse than saying most actual curse words. But curse words also do, you know, have some meaning in their own right, so you can't just throw them around willy-nilly. Hmm, okay, let's see. How dare! See, but if, like, a child said that to their parent, it would actually be so... Like, the parent would probably feel legitimately bad. Because that's, like, if it's a little kiddo who's legitimately mad, that might be the worst insult they can think of. And so that would be much more cutting. Wait, is what it is. Oh, these colors are gonna get so messy so fast. The layer management's gonna be bad. Okay. I don't know. I mean, technically, can they? Sure. Can they legally? 
I don't think all of them can, but I think it is a younger age than a typical vehicular driver's license, so long as they're not on a road. Because I also don't think golf carts are street legal. <laughs> Unfortunately. No, I, I don't think it works that way. I don't think being with someone with a license allows you to just do it. You still have to have, like, a learner's permit most of the time. But who knows? Maybe. I mean, there's, like, those duck boat tour things where it's a... Or duck bus. So it's like a uh, bus that you can go drive into the water and it becomes a boat. And they just let stinking anyone drive those around once they're out in the water. So, like, I don't know. Traffic rules are complicated, and I don't fully understand all of the vehicular registration requirements, I'll be honest. Wow, that wasn't even close to a word. I never put my hand right in the right place on the keyboard. If you get a jacket, I mean, maybe that'll help. <laughs> you get, like, three kids in a jack jacket. Minecraft's a... Yeah, Minecraft's always fun. It's always a nice place to be. Sorry that you've gotten, like, a kind of behind-the-scenes... Behind the scenes -y, not necessarily tons of, like, drawing this stream. We're mostly setting up so that next time, because we're going to have to take a pause on this one for a little bit, unless I work on, it on my free time, which is truthfully unlikely. Um, wow. That also wasn't even the right name in the first place. But I want to be able to pick up where we left off and not forget. That's still the wrong color. There we go. Yeah, you may as well. And I, I I don't think I didn't notice the comment about the EU of the art. But, uh, you know. Bants. As they say. Okay. That is the one downside of this stage. Layer management. Don't worry, I've got it written down. I won't forget. I'll make sure to send Galactic your regards. And I hope that I can report to him that you have not, you know, stuck your hands into an air fryer or something. That's fair. Oh, hey, Scopic. Um, this is, I mean, mostly layer management, but we're working on the handle and the lighting and shadows for this. We aren't going to get too far on it. But we can at least set ourselves up a good template for uh, next time. But how are you doing? Thanks for dropping in right towards the end here. We still got about 13-ish minutes to go. Let's see. Right, now hide that one. Got the handle. Don't worry about this yet. Let's get the dark color on here next. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, awesome! Have you been playing it? Ah, okay. Well, I'm sure when you get the chance, you'll wreak havoc and destroy many a Twitch streamer. As you are very much wont to do. Is your calling, in a way. Nice. Oh, really? Seriously? You made them rage quit? <laughs> Holy cow, what did you do? I mean, I guess that gets the job done. Yeah, I mean that that's if there's a speed run like for uh, rage quit any percent, that's a doozy. down the right layer. Why did they quit? I'll have to share the full story when you remember it. I think you said you did? I'm Sorry, I'm like desperately trying to get this silliness sorted out. Yes, Pomato, what's up? <laughs> TLDR. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, no, that's just bad fortune on their part, I suppose. I think it's rather incorrect that Apple even is a banana in the first place. But as we know, Apple and banana are both fruits, while orange is exclusively a color. I don't think anyone said that, Scopic. It is merely the meanders of the mind. 
which is the pretentious name I give my little, like, notebook where I write down random thoughts. Mind meanders. Okay, a little rough, little rough around the edges, but we're there. Okay, we've got the handle and the blade. Jakob? Yeah, I mean, that, that... It's a little weird to have it with a CKO, but it's not... not unthinkable. Okay, now we can get to the blade and get back to the highlights, which I was having fun with. Oh yeah, name spellings are long history of weird, complicated nonsense. That's a heck of a name, Pomato. I hope you don't mind, I may continue just calling you Pomato. It's a fun name. It's always fun to see what, like, different people's usernames are and, like, what they come up with. And, like, the history behind them all. Because you know every username you see has a history somewhere. Even if it's, you know, I am a spam bot and I randomly generated this, but most of the time it's, you know, an actually interesting history. Indeed, you're the true answer to uh, potato tomato. trying something quick and sketchy for this just for the moment we'll see how it goes ah, very smiley face that's a cute one You're opposed to the merging of those two various, uh, I don't know, vegetations? Okay, well I'm sure we'll have to add more to that. I didn't say it was a vegetable, I just said it was vegetation. They're both plants. Oh no, we've got three minutes left on the stream. I can't start a debate now. <laughs> oh no. No. No, the tables have been flipped. Lines have been crossed, which cannot be uncrossed. Thank you, yeah, we've been having some fun with this.
Yeah, it's the same one we've been working on for a while. This here is assuredly not. Oh, oh, okay, maybe we're seeing some results in the debate section. For a comment section, it is no longer. As the conversation heats up. For some of the internal lines. We'll have to work on that. Ah, well then, Pomato, maybe you're related to a Pomato. Crazy. Ah, are you now? I hate to break it to you, buddy, but that is a fat, rather unfortunate name. I suppose every name has its own merit. Let's see. Unfortunately, it is time I have to wrap up for the night, and we have to set Mikola aside for the time being. We will come back, however. That's some wonderful poetry, Scopic. And alas, it is the time of parting, as the snow as the snow fades away. Um, Pomato, you said you were probably going to go play Minecraft. Are you going to just head out to do that, or should we do a raid someplace? Or actually, rather than a raid, I may just suggest anyone who wants to stay watching stuff later, check out the Games Done Quick channel. I'll throw a link to it in chat, that way y'all can jump over there. Um... They got some great stuff, rather than like an official raid, because they're kind of in the middle of something, and we've only got like a couple of us here, so I don't want to interrupt them for that. And I won't be able to stick around on it to be cool. But go check them out! Oh yeah, homework, that's a proper L. Sorry, buddy. Good luck with it, though. Hurricane, also, also a rough patch. Hang in there, y'all, and I uh, hope to see from you next time! 
Tomato, uh, do take care and good luck with everything. And y'all have a good night.